This is Jim Callis with MLB Pipeline. I'm here with Adley Rutschman of the Baltimore Orioles, number one pick in the draft a couple of years ago. And Adley, thanks for joining us. We, we, we've wanted to reach out to you. We're releasing our top 100 prospects list. Uh, actually, in about half an hour after we do this interview, the list will be out. And I was curious, as a player, I mean, I know none of that stuff really matters in terms of getting to the big leagues and what you become. I mean, you know, it's what happens on the field. But but as players, do you guys follow that those lists at all? Are you aware of where you rank or where teammates rank, that type of stuff? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm definitely aware of where I'm at. Uh, like you said, though, it doesn't really uh, matter as far as uh, what it means getting to the big leagues. But uh, I, I try not to look at it as much as I can just from the standpoint of, um, it doesn't really help me get to my goals. It's just a, a nice compliment in a way. You know, in terms of your first full year in pro ball, I, I'm going to get, I'm going to go on a limb and say it probably didn't unfold like you expected. Nobody saw the pandemic coming and there was no minor league season. You were part of big league camp and you were part of the second spring training and alternative camp and instructional league. What were you able to work on? I mean, it wasn't, you know, true, you know, everyday game situations, but what were you able to work on? How hard was it to, I, I guess, develop and get better in these unusual circumstances of 2020? Yeah, there was, uh, you know, there was definitely some positives, a lot of negatives, but um, just being at the alternate site, like I said, with, uh, you know, guys who are going up and down and guys who have been around the game and really know what they're doing, and being surrounded by that really helped, I think, me and some of the younger guys who were there to really see what the game was all about and, and learn a lot more um, just because those guys forced you to be better. And that, along with the extensive one-on-one uh, -on -one time with coaching staff during that time, I think really helped guys like me, Gunner, Grayson, DL, uh, all of us really develop and get better during that time. Uh, that's something that couldn't have happened if uh, we had had a full season last year. So uh, from that standpoint, it was really positive. And just the competition level at that camp, uh, it was really competitive every day. So there was definitely some good to be had from that. And um, really a lot of sit down, talk about stuff on a consistent basis, uh, type of conversations that you just don't get, I think, during a full season. Hey, you know, in terms of, you, know, you got a you know summer pro ball in 2019. You went through these various experiences last year. Where do you feel you're at with your game? What do, what do you think you need to get better at before you're ready for the big leagues? Um, I, I think for me uh, personally, I'm going to be competitive. Uh, you know, if you throw me in a situation right now, I'm going to be I've, I've always been competitive. And I feel like that's a, a strong trait uh, about my personality is just that competitive nature, but uh, there's always things to work on in baseball. Um, I, I don't think I'm ever going to be at a point of, uh, you know, where I'm satisfied at where I'm at at any, you know, point in hitting defense, throwing, receiving, whatever it is. I don't think I'm ever going to hit that point where I'm satisfied, but uh, I mean, at this point, I think, uh, it's just about getting reps and continuing to refine my swing, my approach and, uh, there's always stuff to get better at. So it's, it's tough to really narrow down because I've never been in the big leagues and I don't really know exactly what it takes until you get thrown in the fire. So well, I, I know a lot of Orioles fans want you there yesterday. Like, is it, is it, I mean, I, I mean, you probably knew it comes with the territory being the number one overall pick because you aren't the number one overall pick if the franchise is doing well, but like in some ways, you know, you're heralded as the future of the franchise. I mean, do you, you feel any pressure from that or is it just you knew that was kind of coming with the territory? Because anytime I talk to an Orioles fan, whether it's on Twitter or I run in, you know, back when we went to games and you run into people at the ballpark, everybody asks me, okay, you know, when's Adley Rutschman going to be in Baltimore? Like, why isn't he up yet? When, when's he getting here? Like, <laughs> how does that stuff make you feel? Is there any pressure with that? Um, honestly, from my standpoint, I'm just trying to control the controllables right now and just get better every single day. And if I feel like I do that and I'm, uh, you know, working as hard as I can, then I can't be too disappointed with what the result is. So that's always been my mindset. And that's really, that's what's got me. Uh, that's what's got me to where I am at now. So uh, it's worked out so far and I hope it continues to 
work out. I'm looking forward to seeing you and a lot of other guys in action uh, in this upcoming year and looking forward to seeing you and the Orioles, you know, what, what the team's going to look like in a couple of years. Cause I do think better days are ahead for the franchise. So thanks for joining us. Thanks, Jim. I appreciate it.